Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so excited. The fall is coming and in about a month I'll get to decorate my house. But uh, on the day that I decorate the house, I have to have everything ready. So all the decorations that I make, I'm making them the month before, which is now. Now I'm going to show you guys a really easy way to create these pumpkins they are so simple to make you can make them different sizes you can make them while watching tv while you're traveling super super easy i mean it just this project just doesn't get easier than that and when you learn this stitch watch out for my future video because i have another project with the same stitch in mind Okay, so this particular yarn is from the Dollar Tree, but you will see in this video different colors of yarn popping in and out because I have made so many different pumpkins and so many different colors, but they are all the same weight and they are medium weight, uh, the yarn is, and that's number four. Now we're going to create chain. Now chain is very important. So you create a loop and then you just grab the yarn and you're going to be creating chain. Now this, is the reason why it's important is because that is going to be the height of your pumpkin. And the fun part about creating your own pumpkins is that you can make as many different sizes as you want. In this particular case, I am making chain 30. Now, when you get to the very end, we are going to uh, grab the yarn and we are going to go into the second chain from the end. I'm going to grab the yarn and then you're going to grab it again and pull all three loops. That's half double crochet. Now, again, you're going to go and grab the yarn and pull it through, yarn over, grab the yarn and then pull through all three loops. That's half double crochet. And this is what we're going to use for the entire pumpkin. Now, I, when you get to the end, this is the, the last chain. We are going to, on the last uh, chain, we're gonna go chain two and then you're going to turn over. Now, this is, we're still going to work half double crochet, but instead of putting the, the crochet hook where it usually goes down in the bottom, we're going to look for the back loop. See that back loop over there? That's the loop that we are going to use. And that's going to create that really nice design on the pumpkin. So yarn over the back loop, bring it over, and then pull through all three again. Yarn over, back loop, grab the yarn and pull all through. And that is how you're going to create your entire pumpkin. And uh, as we're going to continue going, you will see that this really nice line is created and it looks really, really uh, nice on the pumpkin. And uh, there you have it. Now when you're going to get to the end again, uh, we are going to uh, after the last after the last chain before you turn it around you're going to go chain two and then turn it over and continue on with your pumpkin and we're going to make it as long actually as you want it usually uh, seems like for if you do chain 20 then make 30 rows if you do chain 30 make 42 rows um, but honestly it's entirely up to you pumpkins come in so many different sizes you can see all the different sizes that I have been making here and also the different colors so when you are done with with your piece now we're going to start creating a pumpkin so first of all you still have the thread attached because you just finished crocheting so we're just going to pull the two sides together and we're going to crochet them together but i'm going to show you a neat way of doing it so you will not even see where you closed off this gap 
So check this out. You're gonna put those two pieces together and do you see there's an inside and there's an outside, outside chain. So you're gonna go to the bottom outside chain, grab it, go to the top outside chain and then pull the, the wool through both. So you, again, and we're gonna do a slip stitch. So bottom outside, top outside, grab your yarn and then pull it through your loop okay and you're going to continue the outside the bottom outside and the top outside of the chain grab your yarn and a slip stitch all right and as you're continuing you will notice that it is creating the most beautiful stitch it looks almost like all the other lines on the pumpkin and you will likely not be able to tell where you actually put this pumpkin together so we're just going to continue like that to the very end and uh, this is the last stitch and we're going to check and see how our pumpkin came out and look at that you cannot see or you barely see where it was put together it's just a very very cool way of doing it all right so now the thread that was still attached i'm attaching a needle to it a crochet needle and uh, I'm just going to start sewing the top and I'm not pulling it together just yet but I will in just one moment but you're just going to do a circle around to make sure that that thread is going through the entire bottom of the pumpkin because that's what it's gonna be that is going to be the bottom of our pumpkin now when I'm um, when you are done going around just pull it pull it tight um, you may want to actually put the threads inside and then flip the, 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 the pumpkin inside out that's probably even easier I'm not quite sure why I didn't do that to begin with and then I realized okay well maybe I should do that <laughs> so just put your threads inside and we're going to finish off the bottom of the pump of the pumpkin from the inside so you will not be able to see any kind of threads leftover threads or anything like that but this is just a matter of playing and making uh, sure that the pumpkin is nice and tight and that your stuffing is not going to be uh, falling out at the bottom so now we're going to make a couple of tight knots and uh, you can do either tight knots or if you know you don't maybe your threads are too short you can just weave them weave them in uh, in between uh, all the other uh, stitches but uh, this this worked for me um, I'm just going to trim that and the bottom of the pumpkin is done and there you have it this is actually a nice size pumpkin now it is time to put some stuffing in and you want to make sure that you put a generous amount of stuffing now guess what I'm using for my stuffing it does look like a stuffing but no I didn't go to the store to buy it I was actually throwing away an old pillow and I decided to keep it because you never know when you may want to use it and yes I'm actually using an old pillow stuffing from old pillow uh, for my pumpkins so there you have it it is nicely stuffed again I have a thread and a needle and whatever I did on top remember how I was pulling those um, the top uh, the bottom together I'm going to do exactly the same thing on top so I was actually trying to look for the back where I sewed it and I couldn't because it just looks so darn good so again just weave it in and out on the very edge so that we will be able to pull the top together as well now this may seem like a lot of work but honestly it really is not especially when you're making a bunch of pumpkins at the same time or when you're watching TV while you're making them it really goes super duper fast and those things are not cheap I saw one at Joann's uh, uh, that was $25 and I was like oh my goodness I can make one for like just 50 cents or less 
<laughs> less than 50 cents 25 cents 20 cents anyways so there you have it the pumpkin is coming to life so now just think about it that you want to leave some space on top for for the stem so don't pull it 100% close just leave a tiny little bit for that stem and I'm going to show you different ways of creating the stem or adding different things that you can add the stem uh, with um, now my I'm uh, adding the needle to my thread that I just used to pull the the top and you can see what I'm doing I'm taking the thread I'm putting on the outside of the pumpkin and I am putting the needle through the bottom it's coming up on top and I'm starting to create the pumpkin the actual shape of the pumpkin so there you have it you can uh, just keep on going um, if you want to do it into six or into eight or what have you I did my mine were really small so I did them into six but that's what you do you take the thread you put it to the bottom you take the needle that the thread is on you pull it through and you get that really awesome pumpkin looking squish <laughs> for lack of better word the pumpkin looking squish well there you have it I'm just so inventive when it comes to all those names anyway so look how beautiful this pumpkin is coming out now just pull all your threads together or fasten it whichever way you can you can just weave it through you can tie it I mean it's just just make sure that your pumpkin is not gonna fall apart that's that's the bottom line I have seen people create pumpkins without um, without those lines but I think it really does look nice with the lines and for this particular one I am going to use a piece of stem cinnamon stick I did have it in my pantry so I decided to put it in uh, and you just glue it to that little hole that you left on top and just squeeze that cinnamon stick in there I really was hoping to get more smell out of the stick and it's really I don't think it's really worth it if you can use something else um, do that but look how cute that looks we're gonna decorate that a little bit more you can see uh, here I have little wooden sticks and that's what I'm going to use for the rest of the pumpkins because I didn't want to waste my cinnamon if that cinnamon was really not smelling all that well after all so this is just a very simple process it look they look just so darn cute with those little wooden pieces on top now what I'm going to use for the leaves I don't have leaves obviously but I have this wire look at this one that one is a big one huh the green and the brown they are both white it's like wired twine kind of but it has wire in it it's a floral wire <laughs> floral floral paper covered floral wire so I'm just gonna use a marker and I'm going to put that um around my marker so that to create those little thing little little doodads that the pumpkins have <laughs> the little doodads jeez ah um anyways and i thought that i saw someone uh, do that and i thought that was just super super pretty so i have i'm gonna make them in brown and in green and i'm gonna put them on my pumpkins these are so super easy to work with and they are very forgiving um, I I also had like those little maple leaves from Dollar Tree uh, they are cardboard so you really have to be careful because they really do fall apart and at first I wanted to tie them on and then I'm like no that's really not gonna work so glue gun it is glue gun fixes things <laughs> around my house and it sure helped me out with this project so now this is just a matter of going and decorating the pumpkins and making them look pretty um, this these are also the cardboard uh, leaves I just painted them white so that they would go nicely with my gray pumpkins 
And you can see here for my dark pumpkin, I just created a little braid to decorate it and I'm attaching a leaf to it and it just looks so darn cute. So I created pumpkins in so many different colors that it was just out of this world. But that way I was able to give them out to my friends and everybody has different tastes and some people like the more traditional colors, others like uh, you know the the white and grays and, and black and so on and so forth so um, it was just super super fun and super easy to make and uh, you know you decorate you add a little touch to the pumpkin it just looks absolutely adorable and I kid you guys not that you will be able to knock out so many of them in such a quick time that you will not even notice that you're making all those pumpkins well my friends make sure that you try it out and do let me know what you think about it and if you like this um, stitch because I ha already have another project with that stitch lined up for you guys with that being said till next time my friends ta -ta!